Okay, Gaming Nation, now we're going to take a look at our $400 gaming PC build. This gives us a little more flexibility in terms of our graphics card and really is a much better performing computer overall if you're willing to spend that extra $100 when compared to our $300 gaming PC. Now, this build is based off of an AMD processor. One release, believe it or not, in 2009, the AMD Phenom 2 X4965. It's a great processor. Uh, if you want to upgrade from there, you're probably looking at spending another $30 or $40 on like an i3-3120 uh, or an AMD FX6300. Um, that's pile driver based. Uh, that's where I'd go from, from the Phenom 2 965. I probably wouldn't worry about many of the CPUs in between there It'd just be you know if you, if you want to upgrade from there you just jump up to that now for this particular processor you're gonna need a socket AM3 motherboard at least although I recommend you go with the newer AM3 plus motherboard just to give you the newer technology I mean anytime you're building a new computer you want to go with the newer technology if possible especially where a uh, motherboard is concerned and where AMD has been so good about uh, using socket types for so long that's what you're going to want to do. Um, for graphics card, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. Um, I'm not uh, particularly fond of Radeon or uh, GeForce. Uh, I don't really like one better than the other. I just go with whatever has the best uh, benchmarks. I'm going to put some benchmarks for this particular graphics card below, but the reason I went with it was because of the rebate that's available this month. Um, which makes it about 130 bucks. I'll, again, you can look in the description below. I'll have a lot more information about that. As far as uh, RAM, I went with four gigabytes of the Kingston HyperX RAM. This is more because um, because it's inexpensive this month. As far as cast latency and getting gaming RAM at this price point, we're just we're just looking for RAM. I mean, uh, we're we're trying to get the most amount of RAM for the least amount of money possible, so that we can dedicate um, more money to our graphics card and our processor. Okay, so for our motherboard, we went with the ASUS uh, M5A7AL-M LX Plus, another micro motherboard. Uh, power supply, we're looking at the Logisys PS550E12BK, which just stands for black. Uh, that's more than enough uh, power at this particular price range, but, it, but that power supply was cheap enough. Uh, that was the one that I went with. Uh, normally, I'd like to get an 80 plus certified power supply, but you you lack options in the $400 price range, so you get a good power supply. I'm sure it's just 70% plus efficient, and it's one that you could uh, you could even upgrade your graphics card down the line, and that would even work. Uh, for case, we're going with the Rosewill FBM-01. I've used this case um, in conjunction with a uh, Pentium G860 build, believe it or not, that that I've made before. Uh, it's a really good case. It's easy to use. The motherboard's super easy to install. Um, it's, a, it's a good solid case and it's cheap. I think it was around $20 when I bought it. Um, the hard drive, we're going with the Western Digital Blue 250 gigabytes. You know, this is one of those things where we're trying to stay within a price range. In all reality, you'll probably want to spend like an extra five to seven bucks and double or triple your capacity. Um, you know, but for practicality's sake and for sticking with the $400 gaming PC, this is what we're going to put. Um, optical drive, I just go with the light-on drives. They're usually about 20 bucks. I've also seen Samsung and Asus uh, uh, DVD read-write drives that are in the same price range. Anyway, that's our $400 uh, build. Uh, another thing you might want to consider upgrading to is the GTX 650 Ti Boost, which has had some awesome benchmarks lately. You can do that for around $15 more and should uh, give you a considerable amount of performance boost overall. Okay, another note on the GTX 650 Ti Boost that I wanted to make sure to mention. I am not 100% positive that that particular card will fit into the Rosewell case. I've been looking it up. It looks like a GT420 will fit in there and some other graphics cards, but that GTX 650 Ti Boost is much longer than the, the standard GTX 650. Great card, again, but if you're going to get it, uh, then you should probably spend a little bit more and upgrade to something like the uh, Cooler Master Elite 430. It's on sale this month for about $39.99.
Okay, so that's the end of our $400 gaming PC. I'm going to put some benchmarks and other information and research that I've done in the description below so you can get where I'm getting my information. This build isn't going to be perfect for everyone. There's someone out there that knows how to build a case out of Legos or wood or whatever, and they're going to put it up. They're going to say, hey, I could get a 660 Ti super overclock awesome graphics card along with this $400 in this particular build. You know what? Uh, this build is more of a mainstream build for those of you like me who just want to build that you can go on, purchase easily, and put together easily and get really good performance out of. If you disagree, disagree with the build, that's fine. Go below, show in the comments what you change. If you're seeing this after June of 2013, that's when this video was put up, be sure to go to the website because I'm going to update this build each and every single month with the new hardware and components that are on sale and that have been released. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We're going to be doing more videos from $500 to $2,000. If, if this is the particular price range that you are looking for for $400, I also recommend you take a look at our $300 gaming PC as well as the $500 gaming PC. Uh, thanks for staying with me and uh, stick with me for the $500 build. Okay, guys, for our funny moment of the day, I've linked you to this new viral video, Prancer Size. This is probably a really great thing to do after your gaming session. If you've had a long gaming session, you can go out there, prance around like a horse. She does it well, but unlike her, guys, be sure to cover up your toes. <laughs> If you don't get that, watch the video very closely. I promise you will. Again, cover up your toes in public, people. This is freaking ridiculous that it's still happening in 2013. We've had enough of this discussion. You like this build? You like me? Please press that like and subscribe button. Stick around for our $500 PC build. If you like this build, again, check out the $300 one as well.